I'd just say get excited. I know I was I was super excited. I couldn't wait to to go to the MTC to learn a little bit and then actually get to the country. I would say keep an open mind. Be ready to adapt to certain things. If you've watched any of the other clips, obviously there are a lot of differences with Indonesia. But yeah, just prepare like you would for any any type of mission, whether it's Indonesia or the States, you're gonna need to have a testimony, you're gonna need to be able to testify to people with confidence and with um, assurance of what you're saying. So I'd say get excited, Obviously, you're going to be nervous, but the Lord will watch over you. The people will love you. And there's really not a day that goes by. I mean, I think everybody says this, that's their mission. Not a day goes by that I don't reflect on one thing or another that I learned or that I experienced on my mission. I am very grateful that I kept a uh, journal during my mission and in the MTC. Um, I don't think I wrote every day, but probably every other day, even though obviously you're going to be exhausted, you're going to want to go to bed. It may not seem like anything extraordinary happened that day, but once you take the time to reflect on things, maybe it's a cultural thing you experienced, maybe it's a spiritual thing, you'll really start to realize what a unique opportunity it is to be where you are, to be doing what you're doing. And it's something you're never going to be doing again once it's over. So that's, I guess, one more tip would be to keep a, keep a steady journal about cultural things, about people, names, places, and, of course, spiritual things. Look for how the Lord is showing His hand in your life and in the work that you're trying to do. And just work hard and know that it's all going to go by faster than you think even though you're not going to think that while you're there but just remember why you're there and soak up every minute would be my best advice